Now, um, with this particular door, as I mentioned, we are going to work on this edge here that we talked about. So to do that, we're going to have to pop this door off its hinges. Now, if you look here, we've got two hinges on this door. There's one up here, one down at the bottom. Sometimes there's three, okay, usually, okay, but these older doors just used two really good hinges, and that's what we're going to work with. Now, I'm just using very simple tools. It's just a hammer and a screwdriver, and this will work the same for most any hinge you get. Now, this one here, you can see, has already popped up a little bit. That's a, that happens a lot of these. They're loose, so you want to just pop the hinge up. Now, I like to start at the bottom, okay? That way, uh, that way when I'm working and I pop it off, it'll all come up and it won't hit me on the head. <laughs> so start at the bottom, I'll always work with it. And this time you want to go a little different than gravity because you don't want the door to fall on your head. So start at the bottom hinge. You want to just get into that seam right there, tap it in there, and then we're going to work our way up. Work that on out of there. Go ahead and get that on out and just tap it on out, pull it on up. And it's the same thing again. Put your foot against the door, that way the thing won't fall back on you or something. Now, this screwdriver worked best for me, but you could use all kinds of things. Anything, even a putty knife, I've done that before too. I like this screwdriver because it's nice and sturdy. And this one's loose, so I can just pull it out with my hand. Now be careful when you're doing this not to pinch your fingers here. All right, now the door, you just kind of walk it out, all right? Now you can see now that it's completely come loose from the door jam. Since we're working on this bottom, this edge right here, like we spoke of, all we're going to need to do is keep this that we're working on on our drop. So we're just going to rotate this using the gravity and just leave this over our work area that we've already dropped off. You can see here it fits easily in the door jam. And now we've removed the door. 